early on in priesthood, I had the experience of going overseas where I sent to Puerto Rico to language school to learn Spanish. When we went, the course was language learning during the day. At nighttime, cultural experiences. So we had a very rich experience being there. That, of course, introduced us on weekends to going out to the parishes in the mountains or down on the coast or whatever. And uh, that's where we met people face to face. My first connection with Renew takes me back, takes me back to a conference in Florida where I remember hearing a priest by the name of uh, Father Edgar Beltran, I think hired by the Bishop's Conference to propagandize and to let the world know that there were such things as small Christian communities. We saw this as a possibility of developing lay leadership in the church. And we saw this as a possibility of bringing people into leaving, allowing people to become very familiar as important members of the church and not allowing them to live in their anonymous state, if you want to say. When I moved in 1985 to St. Mary's down in Grand Street, the Lower East Side, that parish with a pastor, Father Ed Byrne, who was a good friend of mine, and he had much of the same background that I had. He went to Latin America with me. He had a whole bunch of stuff in common. Uh, and he also was doing there, they called them the groups of reflection. And they had them throughout the housing projects, public housing projects. And then I followed him to that parish. And small groups were already there. And then about five years later, getting to know those groups, going to each one of those reflection groups and listening and spending the time with them, began to say, you know, to see we have more material. I think we could improve on this, especially uh, they were offering leadership. Renew was offering leadership courses and the methodology of it. And so we took advantage of that. And we started in St. Mary's. Uh, and of course, just like before, the parish is a bilingual parish. So we had Spanish groups and English groups. Uh, Spanish groups outnumbered by a great deal the English speaking groups. We went through many, many series. Uh, that probably lasted 10 years. To, it's, it's presently there. Neighborhood is changing. Parish has gotten much older. Uh, so I would say that for the years that it has been there, from my point of view, it has done an awful lot. And I think what it did is it helped people to be open to ministry in the church. But it was also because we believe very strongly in that a person is called through baptism to be uh, a servant of the church and to be a minister of the church. And so that was the impetus that we had. And I must say over the years, we had very good leadership and, and that leadership also helped other things in the parish. Recently in our diocese, we were talking about faith formation, adult faith formation. And I brought up and said, you know, Renew has been doing this for years. My decision to continue on after celebrating my 80th birthday, because I felt I was in good health, I felt that I had energy, I could continue. So I thought I could contribute. I thought also, I've got a lot, a lot of experience and uh, why not share that with other people?